My name is Claude Lorius. I'm a glaciologist. There is a link between greenhouse gases and the climate. The slightest activity, like chopping down a tree, all this creates CO2. The more carbon dioxide there is, the warmer our climate becomes. Forests connect the sky and the earth. They are one of the major ecosystems which balance our climate. Forests naturally regulate how much carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere by stocking it as plant-based materials. That is why we call them carbon sinks. Recent human activity has considerably increased the quantity of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Considering trees alone, this influx of carbon dioxide is beneficial. It stimulates their growth. Yet today, this carbon dioxide increase is seriously endangering our great tropical forests. The problem lies with water, which forests need in order to survive. Part of the water drawn from the ground for photosynthesis evaporates through leaves in the form of water vapor, which then becomes clouds. As they condense, the clouds make rain. Forests, therefore, regulate their own water cycle. A single drop of water can fall seven times over the Amazon rainforest before being carried away to the ocean. Climate change is significantly modifying our planet's rainfall patterns. In tropical zones, forests are no longer receiving enough rainfall, making them extremely vulnerable. In temperate zones, as dry spells increase, so does the likelihood of fires. When they burn, forests release into the atmosphere millions of tons of carbon dioxide, which had been stocked for centuries within their trunks and their branches. This massive release of greenhouse gases highly exacerbates global warming. As millions of acres of forests around the world are destroyed, the uptake of atmospheric carbon dioxide by plants is further reduced. The vicious cycle comes full circle. As man tries to reduce global warming, we turn more than ever to forests as our most precious allies. <laughs> 